Hey, this is Cam from Gibson Sunday and Tone Throne, and today we're talking with my new friend, William John Bennett III. Will is a photographer, videographer, guitar player, gear demoer, content creator, all things internet connoisseur. And today we're going to discuss Will's transition from photography to gear demos to his most recent release, his video on the Gibson R8 Les Paul. If you don't follow him, check him out on Instagram, William John Bennett. I, 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 or William John Bennett the third. Without further ado, let's get into it. So tell me about how you guys started doing videos. Like how did, what was that whole process like? Uh, the video thing, like I dabbled with it a bit last year, like right when quarantine started and I just had time at home. Yep. And I spent like two weeks laboring over this fuzz pedal video. And at the end of those two weeks, it was 48 seconds long. And I swore <laughs> off video for like <laughs> six months. <laughs> My wife like still makes fun of me about it. Like I was obsessed with this video and it was like less than a minute and like 80 likes on Instagram. It was like, uh, did you was, like, watch going Parks back and to Rec? Photos. Oh yeah. Remember when um, Ben loses, quits his job or loses his job or whatever, becomes obsessive, makes his stop motion <laughs> video, and it turns out it's like yep. four seconds of the intro? That's what that felt like to me. Yeah. I still get it sometimes now, you know, finish a video and I like look at the timer. I'm like, oh, that was only six minutes. Like, yeah. Like that felt like oh, forever. Yeah, I have the opposite problem. So like my interview with Ryan um, of Gear Fever, that was intended to be like a 45 minute thing. And it was two hours oh, of shit. what was left over. <laughs> Cause I went in yeah. and I cut some stuff and it was two solid hours. But that's just like, so that everything I do ends up being super long winded and just, it goes on and on and on. So hopefully this will be a decently <laughs> time. Yeah, run. it's all good. Not 48 seconds, but not two hours. Just a nice somewhere in the middle ground. Yeah, totally. So you got into it by way of, of time. Did you know like that you wanted to do videos for gear or was it I'm sitting around the house, nothing to do and it just kind of came? I think it was a bit of uh, like the evolution for the Instagram page. Like I was doing the photos the last couple of years. Yeah, yeah. And then it kind of was like, okay, well, let's see if I can do this now and try and make it happen. Yeah. And it wasn't really like a goal to try and do demos for anybody or anything. It was just, I've got enough gear on my own if I want to make noise. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But that's cool. You know, this last year, like it's picked up. It's been good. Yeah. So I, the video that I do, like I, I, whenever people ask for photography, I just say no, like, nope. And it seems like, and I, I mean, tell me if I'm wrong. It seems like for the most part, people who do photo don't do film and vice versa. Yeah. It's been my experience so far. Yeah. I think there's definitely like some crossover, but sure. The thing is like each one of those things is, could be somebody's career. Totally. Right. For sure. So what was that for you? Like, was there any kind of mental block trying to cross that barrier or was there no barrier and you just knew you wanted to do it? Uh, it wasn't really a barrier. It was just yeah. something I, it just start trying it. That's cool. Yeah. You, like, I mean, you're, you're from what, just what I've seen. You're a fantastic photographer. There are a couple of, you. um, photo or like Instagram accounts that are just like the very best to check out. Um, I know, you know, tone party, like, um, Oh yeah. Everything he does like, makes you want to go buy 10 more guitars, you know, just everything. Oh, there's the guy down in, um, lost in, lost in Canyon, oh, crystal canyons, crystal canyons. Yeah. Oh yeah. man, him as well. Yeah, like those two accounts are probably like my favorite like photo accounts, like just so good. So good, yeah, so good. Um, and same, like I would I would say yours is probably gone from just being like on the fringe to being in my top 10 pretty easily, maybe even top five. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's, so cute. That's what's interesting is, again, like generally when you have someone who is a, a super proficient photographer, they, they tend to kind of stay in that world you know, and, and again, vice versa, the, the videographers don't, you know. Yeah. And I think for me, like, even if I'm not a photographer, sure. Like that was something I picked up just over two years ago. Now it was like a, I just wanted a camera. I've always yeah. been interested in it. Yeah. I was like a, you know, iPhone photographer kind of guy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 
I cool. talked my wife into letting me <laughs> get a camera for our honeymoon <laughs> a couple years ago. Sure. <laughs> That's cool. So then, yeah, yeah. I, I understand those conversations. Wife, please let me justify spending a lot of money on this thing that I might try and might be good at or might put down well, and never do it again. I wasn't trying to get a guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has, so, shoot, has it yeah. gotten now where she's like um, kind of making fun of you for camera gear? Yeah. Tell me, um, you're working on a video for, it's a Les Paul. Which which Les Paul is it? Is it an R8? Did I make that up? No, no, you nailed it on that one. Sweet. Yeah, it's a 2014 uh-huh. R8, about 2016 or so. Like it was at the store I worked at at the time. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just doing the showcase vid on that. Yeah. Which has been pretty fun. I finished that up last night. Yeah, nice. Yeah. That's fun. So what's, what's the expected release date for that? Uh, I was going to chat with you about it, but <laughs> sweet <laughs> right, right now I would love to do like Sunday probably. Okay. You mean give Sunday? I'm just, I'm, I'm totally yeah. kidding. <laughs> I do not Figured. refer to Sunday as give Sunday. <laughs> I would expect nothing less. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I should. I should totally just throw that around super casually. Third person just yelling at the kids. You better be home for give Sunday dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. That'd be great. Here's something I'm curious of that I come across more often than I prefer. Um, most guys under, let's say 40, just a kind of rounding. All right. I'm being generous in both directions. Um, just don't play Gibsons. And when they do, they don't play Les Pauls. What was your draw to that particular guitar two years ago? Did you have experience with Gibsons or was there something magical about that one at the store? No, I, I was a big Gibson guy. Cool. I used to work in a music store for about like seven or eight years. Uh And we were known for our like Gibson selection. Like we'd have probably 70 or 80 any given time. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I've had my hands on a lot of them. Yeah, that's cool. And I've had like classics, traditionals, uh, played all of them. Yeah. And then this one was just like a. It was a good one. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, when you've had your hands on that many and you have to buy that one, that's how you, you know that's the good one. Yeah, that's something like I remember I talk about it in the in the video, but uh, it used to be a teacher that worked at the store. Uh-huh. And this guy was like so in tune with guitars. It was incredible. Yeah. And I ended up like whenever I wanted to buy something, I would just be like, hey, Jeff, like check this out. Let me know what you think. Yeah. I wouldn't tell him I wanted it. I'd just get his opinion. Uh-huh. And yeah, I remember putting this, the guitar on the on the wall. I couldn't afford it at the time. And he walked out of the room after playing it. And he was like, what the what the hell is with that guitar? That's the best one you've had in here. Wow. And I was like, ah, damn it, I knew it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. He went back to teach a lesson. I just pulled it down and put it on layaway. <laughs> that was it. That's so great. Yeah. That's great. What was... Um, what was your introduction into Gibson's? Was it just working at the store or was it like, was it a family thing prior? Uh, I mean, going back, I remember like one of my first guitars that I, like I bought was a Epiphone Sheridan. Yeah. Yeah. So I've always been attracted to like that ES and the Gibson style. And then it's sure. just kind of gone from there. Yeah. Well, you've also For got a long that. time. I didn't think Les Pauls were cool. Right. Like, cause you were a young man when you thought that, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then for me, like I was playing and singing in a band Uh and the idea of like a front guy playing a Les Paul was so stupid. Yeah. I was like, this needs to be like around my knees, (laughs) shredding. I need to smoke a cigarette, top hat. (laughs) Like you can't sing and play a Les Paul. It's stupid. Yeah. I told I saw, uh, I've ever seen Paul McCartney Uh and Brian Fallon from Gaslight Anthem. I saw them the same year. Uh Uh-huh front guys rocking Les Pauls. Yeah. And that was, I was it. Like, I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> That's super cool. I understand that feeling because I used to have a, a gold top, um, deluxe and same thing. I, I got the funniest looks fronting my band with a gold top. Like, wow. Like yeah, you're really, weird. you're really into yourself, huh, bro? Like, no, I just like good guitars. Like it was, it, it wasn't trying to make a statement. I just like this guitar is sweet. And I happen to front a band like <laughs> But there was yeah. definitely like a weird connection. Unrelated. Yeah. Like I, I, didn't, I didn't do that for any other reason. Um, but it seemed to be a, like a topic of discussion for whatever reason. 
Um, but then you've also got that gorgeous, that ridiculously good. It's a three, five, five, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. I almost said four, yeah, five, 66. but I knew it was a five, five. That thing is just a monster. Yeah. So that like going back like four or five years, I think I had four, four or five Gibsons. Uh huh. And then the last few years I've just kind of pared down. Hmm. So I sold off a couple of kind of lesser expensive, less Pauls I had got the custom shop. Sure. And then I had a 335 and a 355 and I sold both of those yeah. for the vintage one. Yeah. That was the right move. Cause that yeah. one's freaking cool, man. <laughs> that was so good. Yeah. I mean, because I, I think I see so many guitars, I don't remember most. It's like seeing people you pass on the street. Like you just, you know, yeah. but yours, I remember, like I can see it right now cause it's such a beautiful guitar. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Not the same thing, but yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's super cool. Did you had did you find that you had any apprehensions about going from being a photographer to making videos to getting in front of the camera? Uh, I didn't really have any issues like photo to video. Like for me, it was just another challenge. Yeah. The on camera thing is definitely new. Sure. Like that took a bit of like kind of working up to it. Uh-huh. <laughs> I still feel a little weird, like sitting down to record a video and be like, yeah, yeah. I end up watching them back six times and like, yeah, trying. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's hard to not do that. Um, what's been your like response, not your response. What has been your viewers response to you? Like you being on video, have you received much hate or has it been pretty positive? Oh, it's been pretty good. good. I mean, the thing with the on screen now is the videos I've made that way, I'm not selling anything. It's yeah. just aside from one video, it's just me talking about my guitars. Sure. And I find like the response I've got to that is people like that kind of stuff. Like, yeah, totally. Like my whole approach with everything so far is just to be very personable. Yeah. And I, I like that when I'm following an Instagram account there, it's, there's a story. I know who I'm, kind of who's posting stuff like sure i like that community part of it yeah yeah where there's a lot of accounts that are like you know photography is amazing but i have no idea who you are or what's going on yeah most photographers have zero desire to step in front of the yeah. lens so you never see like i have no idea what um i think i even looked him up lost in crystal canyons it's like what does he look like because i wanted to know <laughs> Cause you have no idea because he doesn't he doesn't want to be seen and that's totally fine it's his prerogative whatever but you have no idea who most of those uh, content creators are for sure. Yeah. I mean, which is cool. Everyone's got their thing. Yeah, for sure. But you know, yeah, you I like just no wanted one. to, yeah. Yeah. I get that. That's cool. I, um, that was my biggest fear. Legitimately. Yeah. That was my big fear, like transitioning in. Cause I basically avoided it for five years. It's like, nah, I don't need to be seen, whatever. But it was just a natural evolution well, I've done this for five years. There's got to be a next step because I'm bored. And I probably have been yeah. for like two years. It's like, what's next? Started doing videos, got in front of the camera. You know, so how long has that been going for you now? Um, I guess two and a half hit and miss. It's, I mean, and this is a question that I'm curious to hear from you. Um, so I've got two kids. So my my rhythm for how often and how frequent frequently I can release will create and release videos. My, my dream is weekly. My goal is every other week. My reality is once a month and it's yeah. just, you know, between full-time job, kids, you know, wife, everything, it just doesn't exist. So I'm curious, like for you, what does that look like? Is it targeted? Is it specific? Or is it like I had an idea and I ran with it? That's the thing. The, the longer YouTube videos, yeah, they take time. Like yeah. that's, that's the hardest part, like trying to figure them all out. I'd love to build that side of, you know, like the, the brand. Sure. Yeah, like, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's tough to, to fit it in. Like right now I've been doing like once a month. Yeah. But I'm making the Instagram stuff's way more consistent. Like I'm usually one or two videos a week. Right. It'd be nice to get these going a little quicker. Yeah. But yeah, like you said, it's, it's hard to balance with like real life. Yeah. I don't think anyone's, a, I don't think most are aware of what the edit time is to the creation time. <laughs> I mean, I yeah. don't, there's probably not a good number, but it's probably like a 10 to one ratio. So for the, however much time you spend creating, recording, all that stuff, it's let's say 30 minutes, an hour, it's three hours plus of editing. You know, like there's just so much time 
goes into all that. Yeah. And that's something I remember like last year messaging a couple guys and being like, I have a newfound respect for you yeah. because I tried to do this and it's ridiculous. Yeah, totally. <laughs> and, and going back to this thing that we've now has become kind of a theme, the more you do it, the more you want to be great at it. And so the more you want to be great at it, the more complicated it becomes, the more complicated it becomes, the longer the edit time is. And suddenly yeah. you made a 20 minute video and it took you 12 hours of, of sitting down and just editing. Yeah. His bonkers. It's, it, it's crazy. Yeah. That's, and that's specifically why I get like one video a month tops because I also do other like videography stuff on the side as well. And there's yeah. just not enough time in the day. Yeah. It goes by quick. Like I remember I used to, when I was just doing photos, I'd get to the weekend and I would just kind of batch create. Yeah. And I'd spend, you know, five or six hours taking photos and I'd probably get like a week or two worth of stuff. And then now doing video and trying to write music and all that. It's like, I've spent my Saturday. I'm lucky to get one thing done. Yeah. Yeah. How's that been for you as well, let me ask this. Are you in a band or are you only playing alone? Just playing alone now. Okay. I did the band thing for a long time. It's been a couple of years now. Yeah. How has that affected your, like a couple of different questions, Let's, you know, go through a few of them, but like, how has that affected your creativity? How has that affected your songwriting process? You know, just in general, because sitting down and writing a riff writing three, four, five riffs for a pedal is surprisingly difficult. So yeah. like, how has it, <laughs> how has that affected your songwriting and your creativity? For me, it's been, it's been good. good. Cause that's something I found the last few years, not having a band. I wasn't doing a lot of, right. I was one of those, like, I'm going to record a record and <laughs> you know, like, yeah, like three riffs recorded from two years ago. I haven't touched anything. Uh huh. So now it's like, it's a reason to sit and try and be creative and sure. Yeah. That's it's worked cool. well for me that way. It's nice. Yeah. Um, when it comes to that kind of, like, I know there are a couple guys who do different things, you know, like, um, in terms of finding tracks, are you constantly looking for tracks or are, do you have like a plate, like a catalog you go to and reference? Do you hire out real musicians? Like what's your, uh, my prize, like I'm writing everything. Uh -huh. So a lot of it's, like I use uh, it's a tune track superior drummer. Okay. So usually I'll have a, you know, an idea in mind, find a groove and then I just start jamming. And yeah. Then yeah. Go in and refine everything after um, other musicians would be fun. That'd be a cool. Yeah. Collapsing at some point. Yeah. I've done one of those and that was a ton of fun. Yeah. So if you ever get the chance, just ask buddies like, Hey, let's please, let's just jam for the sake of jamming. And if yeah. you can make something with that too, then it's, you know, it's all the better. Um, that's super cool that it's been beneficial because I was doing the same thing. I was like, I want to make music, but I, no one will, no one else, yeah. all the adults in my life, none of us have the time, <laughs> you know, like we just couldn't do it. Like, how do you spend five hours a week making music with your friends when life is this busy? So that's cool that you have benefited from the process. Um, from this point, where do you see like, what are your hopes that you're going to do with social media in general from here on out? That's a good one. I don't know. I mean, from last year, it's just been kind of like, wow, this, you know, it's getting a reaction. Let's just keep it going and see how far it goes. Right. Like, sure. It's almost been like, uh, I'm supposed to say like my own sports. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> You know, okay. Oh, you know, that got a thousand likes. Cool. Like, let's see what goes next. Like, yeah. And trying to pivot and see what works well, what doesn't. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't have like an end goal. I just like to do what I'm doing. Yeah. If I could build a YouTube site up, it'd be nice. Yeah. So that passive income they talk about on the internet. That's not a thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you and I, we're just not those not people. Yet. No. So no. it's a guy can dream. <laughs> As many plays and subs and everything else as I have, I'm still, I, so I was like, I'm going to hit it March 1st. I'm going to hit that threshold where I start getting paid. It's now July 6th and I'm still not there. I'm still like thousands of hours away. It's really frustrating. So oh, just trying to get like the watch hours up. Yeah. I think it's like 50. 
I, I'm actually not going to speak. 4,000 or something like that. It's I something. I think I've got like 2000 and I've still got 2000 left and all of the videos are like over a thousand plays, but just the accumulated time is just not, I mean, I've got two videos over 10,000 plays each and I'm still just not even close. It's so frustrating. So passive income. Yeah. Um, I'm not bitter. I'm fine. <laughs> uh, yeah. See, I'm not, I don't, I'm not close on either. I think I've got, I'm still under like 300 subs. Like I, yeah, I haven't really taken YouTube too seriously. Yeah. YouTube is a totally different animal. Like just because yeah. you can do one thing doesn't mean you can do the other and you know, vice versa. And I thought for yeah, sure I'm learning, it's like a whole nother. Yeah. I thought for sure I could just, okay, there's 125,000 Gibbs Sunday followers. If I just get 10% of this, I'll be happy. Just, you know, move 10% over. And I think I'm just at like 3,000 or 4,000 subs total. Like it just takes forever and nobody, you know, it doesn't matter. So it's just, it's a slow, (laughs) slow, 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 slow grind. And if Instagram and Facebook would just finally pull the trigger and, and introduce monetization in the, the Facebook, you know, ecosphere or whatever it'd be amazing i keep hearing instagram's working on it they, i've seen now they've added like badges on live badges. streams you can buy yeah we should have done that like today so, we should have live streamed this oh yeah so that we could have made some money got all those badges, <laughs> badges. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i just i it look just, like a girl scout at the end of this thing i don't care <laughs> get paid <laughs> i uh, i just enabled that like two days yesterday or two days ago um i don't even have the option so they actually started to roll it out last year. And I think COVID like broke it. I think there was a scenario where they were able to like demo it, but they just couldn't. So they started okay. rolling it out. We started like, okay, here it comes. And then they pulled it again. So they're, they're super close. Cause obviously their, their platform is just so mega that they could absolutely make it, you know, an absolute killing. Oh yeah. Like they start doing live stream monetization, man. Like you guys can tune in and watch me nap. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm mean, going live all day. People would watch as weird Somebody. as it is. There are definitely people who would watch others nap. What's your process for, um, for getting gear and going through demos? Like, do you have specific companies in mind? You go, Oh, I saw that and I liked it. So I reached out to them or is it just, I know what I want. I want to work on a compression pedal next. Like what's your kind of process in that? Mine's been, or pretty chill. Like I got everything. in with a couple guys um, early on, like Mass Distro and some other ones like that, that kind of rep a few different brands. Yeah, yeah. And it was like, you know, we'll send something, we'll try it out, see how it goes. Uh-huh. And then that's been great because you can deal with one person and just <laughs> try deal a with a bunch of, of different stuff. Totally. And then there's been a few companies since that have reached out. Like the nice thing is the videos are getting tons of views on Instagram, which is awesome. Looks good to everybody. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, and it is good. They do. Yeah. They look great. Yeah. So like had a few companies reach out and ask about if I'm interested and, and for me right now, like it's still, you know, I want to say hobby level, right? So it's, I'm not getting paid to do anything aside from the gear. Sure. I'm happy to swap if, uh, if something I'm into. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that makes sense. Yeah. Like that's been my biggest thing is I don't want to, I, I'm still a gearhead. Yeah. So it's got to be stuff I like want to check out. Yeah, I get that. It's easy to say yes to everything. You know, it, it you could just say yes to everything. But then yeah. I don't know if you've had to yet, if you've had to tell somebody else no. But that that process is both liberating and frustrating. <laughs> You're like, sorry, man, this sucks. Good luck. <laughs> I've had a few I of those. I haven't had that come up much yet. Yeah, I've had a few... And it just, it's not even to say they were bad. It was just like, this is not me. I can't do this. Sorry. Yeah. And it's, it's takes a lot to recognize that too, right? Yeah. 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 I could, I could see that. I wasn't trying to say that about myself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so humble and so in tune. We're just talking about how virtuous you are. <laughs> I really nail it. It's my humility for sure. That keeps me so grounded. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I think it it is definitely hard, but again, like I'd I'd so much rather say no on the front end than get it and lie. I mean, because there's always that battle of like, oh, every YouTuber says yes to every piece of free gear. Like I had, I'd love to, but I just, I can't yet. 
I'd love if they could script my videos too, like they say. Yeah, script my so video, much easier. play it for me, <laughs> you know, cut it, everything. Just do the yeah. whole, all the work. Why can't uh, they have like a shill editing company? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would do a million more demos if someone else would edit the footage for me. I would be so down. Yeah. For free though. That's like, know? that's the dream level right there. <sighs> Man, I, I've seriously looked into those so many times I just can't, I'm just not at the level that I can justify paying someone else to do it. But yeah. boy, I want to. <laughs> oh boy, do I. I think that's half the reason I've stuck to Instagram is like that format. If I know what I want to play, yeah, I can have a, one of those pedal videos done in an hour. Totally. Like from starting record to edit. Oh, that They're not so hard. Great. That sounds so great. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. I just, just did one. I just released a video on the 3.30 and that one, it's a 21 minute video with 17 minutes of talking, four minutes of playing and B-roll. And it probably took me three hours just to record it. Yeah. All of it, you know, and then to cut it, it was another three hours at least. And then to perfect it was another. So yeah, I would, yeah. an hour would be amazing. But whatever. Yeah, it won't won't happen for me with any of the bigger stuff for sure. Like, yeah, it's too nuts. What's your um, are so you you said earlier, you know, like you you tend to do less. Is that your philosophy, or does it just kind of work out that way? Like less is more, or how do you approach that? As far as like the video style, yeah. I think for me, my philosophy going in was like I'm bad for skimming videos. Yeah, you know, if there's a 21 minute video on a guitar. Yeah. I'm probably going to just flip through it. Totally. Yeah. You know, the odd, the, I have certain people I'll watch their videos the whole way through, but it's pretty rare. Same. And then the whole idea was why can't I just show off a pedal in 30 seconds? Yeah, totally. Like, do you need more than that? Yeah. Maybe. And if you do, someone else does that. Yeah. Let me just like, no, no BS. Here's three sounds. Totally. There's no opinions. It's just, does it sound good to you or not? Right. Yeah. Again, um, I wish I could do that. That'd be amazing. Anytime that I make a reel and I just get down on the floor and I'm like, this is what it does. This is how you do it. Enjoy. And then I get done. And I'm like, so I'm just done. Now what? And it's just the best feeling. And I want to figure out a way to, to meld those two things together. I mean, even as I say that we're like 35 minutes, <laughs> we're 35 <laughs> minutes in right now. Like, starting to push that threshold a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah, super I, mad I did about one that. of those for like, like you quoted my, just did a Frank brothers 30 second guitar demo like that. And it mm -hmm. was just like, so fun to be yeah. used car sales guy schlocky and totally. So I'm not saying that this person is a used car salesperson, but there is a, um, there's a, a lady on Instagram who she does reels of, um, and I think they're 30 second reels of, um, or maybe 15 second, I don't know, of Gibsons. And hers, okay. they're so fast moving. I have to find her and, and send her to you and, and even post this below when I remember. But she's the best because she's just like, this is a black Gibson Les Paul. It was made in 1979. It came with triple buckers that are made in gold. These are the, and she just blows through it. And when it's done, you're like, I know everything about that guitar. Yeah, that's what I like. And it's 30 seconds. It was amazing. And I love it. It's just straight to the point. Again, no opinions, no nonsense, no riffs, no nothing. Just here it is. It's, yeah, it's I wonderful. love that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah, it's just so much easier. And I find as a consumer, like I've seen other people doing kind of that similar thing now. Like just here's how it sounds, quick reel. Uh huh. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I get that. Again, I, I guess I'm like, the Joe Rogan of all gear demos. Way too many opinions <laughs> that goes on for way too long and not nearly enough information supporting these opinions. <laughs> so yeah, I'm the, I'm the Joe Rogan of, of gear. Um, it's okay. Everybody's got to have a thing. Yeah. Tell me what was the inspiration behind talking about the art? There's a ton of videos just on Les Pauls on, on Gibson's like what, what made you think, say, I'm going to talk about this one. Uh, that's just what I'm doing with all my guitars. Yeah. My whole YouTube thing was like, I'm going to just make a video for each one of my instruments. Yeah. Talk about why I bought it, show off how it sounds. It's got nothing to do with trying to be another R8 video. It's 
Right. It's that whole thing I talked about earlier. Like it's very personable. Sure. Like is, I don't know. I'm sure there's other better ones and better yeah. videos, but no, I don't No, nah, Better is subjective. I don't care about better, whatever. Yeah. yeah. I'm just curious to know what, you know, brought you to that place to want to talk about it. It was the next one in line. <laughs> <laughs> so to the point. I yeah. Like we, I've done the Novo Frank brothers, three fifty five. Right. Yeah. Like Stratton jazz master. So it's just the less Paul and the telly left. Nice. Are you going to go buy more guitars now so that you can keep it going? <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Two for one, right? Like I'm going to buy just the guitar content for me and I'm going to get content out of it. Two for one. Yeah. It's find perfect. a store with a 30 day return and see what I can. Oh man. Or you could do like a 60 cycle hum, just buy super crappy guitars for super cheap and just talk about them and then mod them. And that's a new video and then talk about modding them. And that's a third video and just, Oh yeah. Just ring it dry. That's a cycle. Yeah. He, I, I mean, like that. I'll give it to Ryan. Ryan, he pumps out content like nobody's business. That guy's yeah, always, it's incredible. always, all every, like I, I've worked really, really, really hard to not watch people on Instagram and look at their thing and then me compare mine to theirs. Like in real life, content creation, anything. Cause I, I know it's a slippery slope, but when I look at Ryan's output and like, holy shit, dude, how can we <laughs> Another keep Another video? <laughs> how, you know? Cause he does like the podcast por like portion and that'll be like 10 topics in an hour. And then he'll do his own thing on the side as if it like, how, I mean, can you send it's me crazy. just three or four ideas, please? And I feel like I'm always full of ideas, but his is just insane. So Ryan, if for whatever reason, if you've made it to the 39 minute mark, great job, man. <laughs> <laughs> but not likely. Anyways, with all that, um, I think that's probably a good place to wrap up. Got into cool. the Les Paul video, unless there's anything else that you want to talk about before I, you know. Ah, I don't know. <laughs> We can do more of these. That's the best part. The yeah. next one will for sure be on live. So we can turn our badges on or oh, get yeah. our badges turned on. I don't know how that. However it works, we want the badges. <laughs> we want to get paid. Yeah. By the way, what, do you, go, what do you go by? Oh. You go by Will or William? Will. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if, I don't think, I don't know if this made it to the final cut, but when, when I was doing <laughs> Doing the interview with uh, with Ryan, I didn't. Oh yeah, 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 it did. <laughs> <laughs> I made you Italian. As William, I know what that happens a lot. William Jonathan Benitti. Yeah, I I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to. I just I saw it. And I just all right. That's a long last name. I was cool. watching it uh, when the day you guys loaded that up. I was like having my morning coffee and watching the video, and that came up, and I was I was laughing, man. That was oh, funny. Man. I had no, I, the funny thing is, is I'm really particular about that kind of stuff. And it just, it, I totally missed it because I'm also a William, <laughs> but my middle name oh. is Cameron. So I go by Cam. Oh, okay. Purely to confuse people and for no other reason. It's just, yeah, yeah it's, it's actually a Southern thing. That's a really frustrating, really dumb family thing. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Well, thank you, William Jonathan Benetti. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to add three more eyes. It'll yeah. be Benetti the third. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. I would be so into that. I would, I would definitely repost that if you did, I would. Yep. People and might then, not even notice. Like, no, they probably just, wouldn't. They would think Benetti. Just see how many more I can yeah. add into a week or something. Yeah, exactly. It's like, a, yeah, yeah. Anyways, this has been a ton of fun. <laughs> I'm just going yeah, to get lost into your last name now. Um, this has been a ton of fun, dude. Thanks so much for telling us about this. Um, Dude, thanks for your time. Yeah, man. Have thanks a for having night. me on. Yeah, it's man. Good time. We'll talk soon. Yeah, have a good one.